Hello and welcome to another episode of Combos and Chill Dirty Talk Sessions. Mm-hmm. Uh, episode 74, Absolute Shenanigans Sessions. Yeah. So I'm your host, Dirty, and this is my co-host and my wife. She's a phoenix. Hi, guys. Welcome to the stream. What's up? What's up? Bundle is in hey, the house. Hey, Bundlehead. How you doing, Bundle? I am wearing the Svetraptilia today. Absolutely hydrated. Oh, my Lord. I'm having my chai. By the way, guys, check uh, my dirty mug, dirty talk mug. My if, dirty mug. Huh? Yeah. Mm. So if you guys want, please go to the merch store on linktree.com slash combos and chill. Sorry if I'm a little bit sleepy. We It's been a stupid, <laughs> tough day. <laughs> yeah. So the thing is, I am... S- I'm still recovering from the weekend shenanigans and yeah. Uh, yeah. <sighs> so saying, how uh, how was your your uh, the weekend oh for yeah. you guys? Yeah. Yeah, you, like you can talk to them about that. I was just gonna read Abzi's comment. Mm-hmm. Let the hydra spam begin exactly. Don't don't do it, man. Also, to be frank, I missed the stream uh, or two, so you you got away with. <laughs> <laughs> Bundle it saying meh. Why you're meh, man? For what? For the shirt? Come on. Is it for the shirt or for the weekend? Wait, for the weekend. Right. Yeah, she's wearing it... Svet Reptilia. Mm-hmm. Show it. Mm-hmm. Oh, he was working. All right. What, what were you working on? Um, I was saying, did anyone catch the Pokemon Direct? What? Is it something Is it an on? event? Or no. what was it online? Uh, we did not do anything other than binge uh, inventing Anna the whole weekend. Yeah. That show is so good and it shows how these like con artists they get away with shit. So Surprisingly, it's based on someone's story. Which apparently is true or I made don't up. Know, I don't man. It's understand. written as true but they kinda have like a fine line because they cannot be told uh, if anyone, you know Yeah to if you they know, involve yeah, anybody that doesn't want stuff, to be involved, yeah. yeah. So but because of that reason they've kept that line very vague. But um I love stories like that that are like, you know, so clever to think that how can someone get away with something mm. like that? You know? Um, and um Bandalit saying nice shirt, so what is KVLT? I think it's cult, if I'm not mistaken, because the Roman numerals now uh, have been used in band logos and names. Mm. So, I think it's yeah. But cult. dude, uh, uh, but I mean, Bandelet designed this, dude. This is yeah. some dope ass. This shirt is yeah. rad. I mean, oh my lord! Firstly, it is a whole ass piece. Yeah. Okay, it's like a drawing. They have this thing on the side, then they have this, all the logos, and then the back. Yeah, it's so satanic. Yeah, it's like, I'm like, what? <laughs> also, the way they made it, the material is so... Yeah, it's very good. It's so... Um, uh, like, it's warm enough to keep you warm on a very cold night, and also enough that... Even if it's not too, like, chilly, it can still keep you comfortable. Like, mm. you're not sweating your tits off, you know? So, I like the fabric and... Uh, a little bit that side. Thank sorry. <laughs> and... Uh, Bullet saying he needs one. Bullet, what's up, oh, man? Thank you very much for hey, joining Bullet, us. Hey, Bullet, how are you? By the way, it uh, this shirt is actually available in a uh, store. Um, let me get the name right. It's, uh, you they, know, there's an open district part of dfc yeah you explain near, the location I'll it's give them near in. to the to the you know the you know the water thing they have outside so there's a shop there uh well, what's the shop's name uh the the name is dio uh, d obligate promo distro so maybe you can find their instagram and put the link in you know because uh the guy is actually someone who uh, really yeah. knows. Yeah, he, he's a musician in the scene. Yeah, so they know each other and. Uh, what is the name? Give me. Dio. You, I think it should automatically. D E O. Yeah. Uh, uh, B. B. L I. L. I. Uh, G A T E. G A T E. Yeah, the second one. Second one. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to be copying the link and dropping it in the comment section yeah. so you guys can, you know, go and find the place out. It's in Dubai Festival City. Yeah. Uh, Bandelet is saying we got it done from Poland. I mean, yeah, dude, yeah. first of all, 
the print is awesome i, I know that this is this is one of those like prints that uh, that will last with me for years like it's not going to fade out mm. you know so yeah, it's, yeah, it's the, really yeah, it's really nice quality good. exactly and the money i paid like i really feel comfortable i just i spent the whole weekend in this literally whenever we went out i was wearing this yeah so even today i was like i just showered my hair is wet i was like i'm too lazy to dry it and i i thought this is comfortable uh so i don't feel cold after the shower and uh dude i feel i i feel like i want to live in this now yeah it's, uh, <laughs> it's so yeah, comfortable yeah this one was a good purchase i mean i i didn't uh think that i would see it in a shop because exactly. this is from our uh th- this band is from like our good friends i mean bondelet knows the one of the core band members yeah. and the vocalist he was our friend as well which he passed away in 2020 uh in a God bike accident soul. yeah man that guy is a powerhouse shams rust and uh, rust and peace wow they they rust have and peace. the music of svetratilia is there on uh, youtube, YouTube yeah. so they have like a 15 minute uh video EP. on there yeah like i think there, there are a bunch of songs EP? together yeah but dude there are parts where I, i'm sur- i'm surprised they included all those like aspects of uh uh Uh, you know melodic mixed with blast beats it's a weird yeah. way they made the music it was a trip to listen to Bundle. and there was a there is a big breakdown at the end of the whole 15 minute mm. like just before the 15 minute mark oh Bundle, such a good what is breakdown. what is their genre to be honest to you i mean like i always thought pasha the guitarist bundle i did listen to the album dude i don't just support and be like a phony i i first told them listen i want to get the shirt but i want to know the artist before i get it because the last time i went i saw it i was like okay i want to do my research i want to know you know about the band more and everything then he told me the whole story and um, uh, i uh, last time i forgot to tap pasha uh, you reminded mm-hmm. me about that but yeah it's um, <laughs> it's such a good music and i'm so like the just genre called uh, babsy saying fusion traditional <laughs> bandelet saying dissonant ah oh. dead slash ba- black well, what the fuck i have to i don't i have never delved into this genre so i have to do more research on it but uh, it's just it's just so i don't know symphonic melodic plus like just it's blast no, beats like, and everything combined and uh, oh man it, it, their songs are awesome it's like you can have you can break out in riots and also also you can just relax to them so i don't know it's confusing but they're not on spotify i was so sad the guys in that band are so old school Man. Yeah, uh, all their music is just on that one video yeah, on YouTube. There's no, yeah. it's not, no, it's Facebook, nowhere else. Facebook, mostly Facebook, which is a, w- which is a redundant platform now. It's like obsolete. It's gone. But so, yeah, so we we got this T-shirt for her. She liked it, and yeah, I uh, really love. Go it. down to to the link. Give the guy as well, like you know, get, just drop him a follow. You know, support the local. businessmen as yeah. well you know this guy is literally selling like CDs and oh, yeah. uh, he has like cassettes and t-shirts with designs from local artists exactly and, and you can display and your artwork as well yeah. if you are an artist or uh, you know someone who's an artist you can give their uh, you know material like hats for example or badges or stickers or something like t-shirts, you know t-shirts anything uh, t-shirts yeah. yeah artwork or what he displays a lot of stuff near the stall So you can always reach out to him and let him know. Um so yeah. So on the other thing today's theme of the of the session is nagging. I put nagging session. What is new? No, today It's is always nagging. Tonight is the nagging night. <laughs> My first time ever ordering a signature burger from McDonald's turned out to be shit. What a thing to such a first world problem. There are wars It going on. It was just a big ass fucking Big Mac. It was okay. no way near fucking signature. <laughs> See, I stopped having signature ones big, because like, dude, their signature burgers are garbage. I never just, get them. Dude, McDonald's is heavy already. You don't need to pile up shit. You yeah. know, it, 
Dude, uh, my dad likes mushroom burgers like you. Like, you know, the mushroom and Swiss from... Dude, there was no bur- trace of any mushroom. There exa- was like three burnt ones. Exactly. So that, that same case <laughs> happened with my, my father when he, uh, I ordered for him. And he's like, okay, I want to try something of something new. So we ordered it. It was so garbage. After that, I stopped. I, I don't like at all get that. I didn't know you were picking it out. I would have told you. Yeah. Because normally I just order mine and give it to him. Like, is instead in the of house arguing. He's saying when his wife makes first class food <laughs> to deal with the gold you need to eat trash wow what a line the thing is that what a it line. was late night and we wanted like to grab something quick which even yeah and you know, i was I mean, tired McDonald's so kind of like you know deliver the food within and coincidentally an we were just right around the academic city one so uh i told him i was like listen i'm too tired yeah <laughs> so sometimes when you know uh, we both don't have the energy otherwise you know sometimes we cook we make the sandwiches at home or we boil Use. sausage and stuff <laughs> saying why, why mcdonald's is shit says the man smoking a wooden used pipe mm. hey i bought this pipe from day one it's not it it, it wasn't used yeah, yeah, yeah but come on man the signature ones are like it didn't even look like the picture. I don't get the signature. picture. They didn't have lettuce. I I think they fuck also, up my order. Also, dude, imagine that uh, at at like what time you ordered? Like one a.m. Was it one a.m.? Yeah, one two a.m. Dude, yeah. imagine past midnight. Who's gonna make anything in their right mind yeah. the proper way it's supposed to be made? McDonald's is best fast food. Come at me, Abzi <laughs> saying signature burgers. I'll admit. Yeah, are no, not I the agree. Best. Uh, you want a kick-ass burger? Affordable. Go to High Joints. A high joint. Where is high joint? Ah, huh. dude, th- th- that's the. There, by the way, there is one place. Uh, Saif took us where Knox lives in Science Park. Uh, what was that place called? Their I burger forgot. Called, their their burger called Mashallah Burger. <laughs> dude, it is so. It's such a like bulby place, like we say, like you know, very uh, uh, you know, Khaliji. But it is so god. It. Uh, the chicken is the right amount of juicy it's crispy it's not overflowing with condiments there's not too yep. much pickled stuff in it there's just like the right amount of sauce that you need it's such a perfectly crafted burger and the amount i paid for it that time i was like wow but it was worth it it was just worth it it was so good so good i don't know what the place is it's like a yeah. almost like a garden kind of a theme where there are just trees around there's all everything trees and there are just a bunch of tables and this fountain in the middle so i don't know what's it called but yeah probably some hipster place that i forgot about hipster place <laughs> um bullet is saying that high joint burgers are not cheap though well yeah if it's in jumeirah like Knox is saying i i i can i'm sure it's going to be uh, expensive but sometimes expensive doesn't mean good quality like yep. shake shack for example i don't know why people like that burger who who thought that this garbage and the portion size they're giving is enough? Like, I don't get it. It's not, it's it's like haram qu- quantity for haram money. <laughs> it's it's just bad. And Abzi redeemed yeah. the vocabulary checkpoint. Oh, okay. Uh, so, uh, Abzi, please tell us what you, uh, w- w- uh, can you tell us the word? What is the word? Yeah, let us know. I will search the timer. Bullet, yes, yeah, so joint burgers are not cheap. Uh, dude, again, I, that's what I was about to say. Like, you know, in this town, it's just like burger joints. And you don't know. I mean, for me, that type of burger stops as burger or stops at Burger Fuel. Burger Fuel is a very good combination. Yeah, I've eaten and they have Burger Fuel. Stuff. Yeah, but I think I tried it with you, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Abzi is saying, can mashallah be added into the vocabulary, please? <laughs> that, uh, then we'll just say the Bird is rhyme. The Rhyme, rhyming things. So, Abzi, which word do you want us to go with? Mashallah, mashallah would be a hard ass one. I don't think he's serious about it. Give us a legit it's word. Abzi. Come on. Abzi. Come on. Come on. It's your first vocabulary check, by the way. I don't think uh, Abzi has redeemed before. I don't know. And yeah, usually, maybe, yeah. usually it's like, you know, people passing by who are who are not aware of it. Well, who was, was it Genesis last time who I redeemed it? I think so. Yeah, a couple of people redeemed it. Yeah. Abzi, yeah, so what is the word? It's been man? a while Help done. us out. Mm-hmm. And yeah, back on the burger shit, man. Dude, I don't understand this whole salt black tab 
I don't know what. Okay, Black Tap. I've been to Black Tap and JLT. It's. Uh, I think I've been with my cousin in 2019, so it was before COVID. Things were still reasonable. Now it must be shit fucking expensive. Like you have to give your kidney to enter. But, um, really? it, dude, everything is way too expensive now. So, uh, because. Y- y- when I went there, I remember that they had like all kinds of organic stuff. So their meat, uh, oh. bread, everything, like whatever they're yeah, doing even, is organic. Even Knox is saying he, so you can he's taste saying. the vegetables you're having. It doesn't taste like McDonald's tomato. M- McDonald's tomato tastes like you just soaked cardboard and formed into a tomato slice and shoved it inside the burger. That's what it tastes like. <laughs> hey, you know what I mean. You guys know what I mean. Knox is ca- it tastes like cardboard. Saying, he's saying black tab is overrated. It, it it many people say that but dude i've been, i've been there i've tasted it it is actually you can taste all ingredients what you're eating you can taste the the meat the flavors that they've put in it the seasoning and the sauces their aiolis are really Bullet nice is saying every time whatever it is the session it ends up in food obviously it will end up yeah in and food dude, because he, we can see, connect and all also the, he gave the diabetes too <laughs> yeah he gave uh, he gave a preface to the uh, the stream that he's gonna nag about the burger because let me tell you guys Dude, it was we shit. ordered the it shut shit. up. We ordered this yesterday past midnight, as I as we discussed. He's been nagging about it. Yeah, since. because I had high expectations. Like I woke fo- up. He's listen, like, Nazi, you have- that burger was so bad. Okay, beta. Okay. Then later on, I brushed and I came outside. Nazi, that burger was okay. Okay. Okay, that was bad. Sorry, we never don't order, order again. Again, after lunch, they had Nazi, four. That burger was so bad. I'm like, you just had food though. <laughs> the signature menu that they have, it's literally four fucking burgers. How the fuck you cannot perfect four burgers? I think you have my hair on your glasses. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Four burgers, mm. and you cannot fucking like solidify the fucking presentation and the taste. It was bland. It tasted like fucking meat juice. Yeah. That's you know, why when you make the burger and you need to let it rest, this was just like straight up on the bun. That's why it's like fast food because they just... It was just not make good, it fr- Unless you're having it freshly made, dude. Okay. When, the, when it's like these early hours and you actually go to the branch and you eat it, it's different because they make everything fresh at that time. They don't have like surplus food. So I've noticed yeah. that when we go to the branch compared to ordering yeah. in, it's a huge obviously, difference. Obviously, obviously. Yeah. So I remember that I when we got uh, when we got the fries as well. It was fresh. I told you. So yeah. Because they were was. busy. Yeah. So uh, I mean. By the way, a trick for the guys with uh, you know with your wives or you know girlfriends or whatever. If you want to get fries and you don't want to get the stale fries, which is in the fucking bin over there. Always tell them that you have a pregnant wife and she is craving french fries and she wants them fresh. Apparently, that's kind of a customer right here. Okay. They actually fucking push for it. Okay. Why you're like that? No, I, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm agreeing. Okay. I've never tried it. What you mean you never tried it? You, you cannot know? go ahead and say I have a wife. You can just eat, eat a meal and take your food baby stomach and be like, okay, I'm pregnant. Now give me fresh fries. It's <laughs> not like this. If the, st- if, if the fries is like cold, you can ask them. Right. The, one of the ways is this. But you have to keep a track on all the branches you ask for it's, it because you can't be asking for it for three years, you know. <laughs> Abzi, we're still waiting on you for the vocabulary checkpoint. What is the... What's what is the word? Then I will do a random fact for you as well. We're waiting for the Always word. Always imagining the... myself having a wife. I have a portrait mm-hmm. of a fictitious wife. Fictitious, f- just like imaginary. Yeah. Uh, bride and in, in my second home. Fun well, fact. <laughs> <clears throat> Painting. Painting. Okay. Wait, he was you know, I have he's a saying sort por- of word. No, not painting. That's the that's the word for the vocabulary check? No, it's not. He meant portraying, painting. I have a painting. Of oh. 
No, uh, he he was confused about the fictitious word. But um, Abs, just tell us the word that you want us to. Uh, okay. Abs, no, fictitious. That's so hard. I don't even know what the fuck that's that even means. Uh, hmm. Okay, I'll I'll start. We can we can give it a shot. Okay, uh, first, uh, rock paper scissor. Lord. Who starts? One rock paper scissor. Okay, I I start. Go. Uh, Start uh, starting the timer. Fictitious? What is it? Fictitious, yeah. Fictitious. Uh. Wait. Delicious. Superstitious. Fuck you now. Superstitious. Okay. It's a fifteen-minute timer you kept. Did I? I don't even wow. know. Why did I do that? Sorry, sorry. My bad. My bad. So start at two minutes and half. Okay, I'll just keep three because it doesn't okay. have a half. So you said what? Superstitious. Yeah. <laughs> Candylicious. <laughs> From Superstitious. where? Superstitious. Oh my god. Uh, pass. Um, Dude, I suck at this. Cautious. What cautious doesn't go with fictitious? Fictitious. It doesn't cautious. Go. It's the same like phonetic sound. Fascist. Fa Fascist. Fascist. I'm surprised. Is it, is it the same? Sometimes you really is like shock same? me with your words. Is it the same stuff? Well, you can say fascist, but it's still uh, ending at with a T, so not an S. Uh, devious. Bundle had the saying clue for dirty. What your burger didn't taste like today? He already said delicious, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. We have one minute, 40 seconds. I pass. I suck at this word. I need, like, normal words as in, like, bog. Ferocious. Jesus. Ferocious. Mm -hmm. I, I pass. I, I, I admit defeat. <laughs> I, admit so defeat. I win. I win. Ostentious? Ostentaneous? Wait, ostentatious. Ostentatious. Okay. What are the, all these fucking big words, man? Hmm. I miss writing. Let's hacking go. Nas got it. Yeah, exactly. Nas got it. Dude, I, these are the words, dude. My, my vocabulary is so fucking weak. I mean, I went for an IELTS uh, course in 2020. Mm, weakest fucking part is reading. Well, like I, the guy I was telling you the other day, you remember? I was telling her like your yeah. IELTS teacher is bomb. <laughs> like that we were like we were talking about some building that there was fire inside. So I was saying maybe there was an arson. You know, he did mm. this and stuff like. Then I told him like, by the way, fun fact: I didn't know the meaning of arsony, and my IELTS teacher uh, in the reading section there was I think it was the second part of the exam that I had to finish or the third section I completely left it empty then it's like why you left it empty I'm like I don't know what the fuck they're talking about in this <laughs> dialogue well I actually this also because you read so fast and you try to no, skip and dude, your brain is reading me. half no, believe things believe me believe me I was trying to put any, anything together and I was like <laughs> who's this arson arson who's he <laughs> so he then he's like, well, what, did, what didn't you understand about it? I'm like, who is this arson? It's like, uh, you don't know what's the meaning of arson? I'm like, no, I don't. It's like, legitly you don't know? I'm like, no, I really don't know. It's like, as a person who puts, uh, yeah. like, you know, creates the father, uh, father <laughs> creates the fire from uh, inside the building. 
I feel so, that uh, Abziz is saying it right. Like, you, be, when you just like read more often, yeah, yeah, obviously, it increases. So, so you were saying. So at the end, he said that's why you couldn't understand the, you know, the paragraph. The, the you know, the paragraph yeah. and rephrasing, yeah, or like uh, paraphrasing because these are all you need to know the synonyms of arsonist or like you know that yeah. that, that that term itself. Mm -hmm. So it was. <laughs> Hey Leslie, how are What's you? Up, Leslie? Thank you for redeeming. Thank you. I'm having chai. I'm having water because I feel dehydrated. Oh man, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm having chai nabat. Yeah. By the way, like, um, it it really makes a difference uh, reading books because sometimes when I used to come across words, I used to like you know, like I didn't have Google when I was a kid, so I had this Oxford Pocket Dictionary. And I used to go search like alphabetical order and like get the de the definition mm. to understand what I was mm. reading. That was that type of a nerd. Um, <laughs> I still have that dictionary in uh, probably in like with my mom now. Uh, I've been using it but since I was in school. But nowadays, year. nowadays I'm using this whole synonym. I mean, the thing is, like, you guys cannot blame me. I mean, I studied in a Persian school, and we literally they don't care about learning English. Yeah, it's I'm not their first. Thing. Yeah, and so, also I feel that because you had the uh, influence of all these artists that you listen to, you yeah. could actually become a good lyricist and write about like dope stuff. I I learned whatever mm -hmm. I learned by myself. Yeah. Other so, than that, kudos to you. I mean, <laughs> like you know, other pe people we have like I mean, parents or why, someone yeah, helping that, us. No, but. that's why I don't understand most of the things that when it comes to you know when it's easier for you guys to get along when it, when you guys talk about some college terminologies or like yeah, university yeah, yeah. shit yeah. or like some shit that you guys been studying it's at the end of the day i think it is the same thing that i've studied but we have like i'm i wasn't exposed to the international to you know terminology for it yeah and knox wrote a big ass fucking thing for uh, uh, uh is to talk to him the most difficult way possible uh, speaking of language, I figured the best way for Ahmed to learn new words is to talk to him the most difficult way possible. For example, come on Ahmed, you really need to actually expand your language skills which generally is quite significant. Have you, uh, have you for the most part picked up a thesaurus, a thesaurus lately in actually a big way? Uh, I for the most part have a subtle way. Wow, I uh, me I am confused. What is uh, what was that whole thing? I, but I think he's just fucking. It's been around. a while. I've yeah uh, used a thesaurus. Okay, what thesaurus th gives you uh, synonyms and antonyms. So like it gives you like similar words or it's opposite an app? words. No, it's a book. Like uh, like how you have dictionary, you have a thesaurus, but it's it doesn't necessarily give give you the definitions it yeah, here gives you, you like go. other words like this that is you one thing use. that you guys understood like you understood immediately when you read it yeah i, I will be like ah, yeah who, who's this <laughs> who's this is it uh, by the way is it I a have, dinosaur i have a 18th century uh, dictionary <laughs> from guy. my from my mom's uh like family like mm. you know from her side it's a uh, red back um like old it, the paper is brown like all oh, the papers are okay, brown okay. and like for example uh, words like gears and like other things like they have small inscriptions on the side hmm. so drawn with pen and stuff so like wow. it's really old and I it's been that. in our family i have it with me but it's uh, because i don't have space here in the house uh, all these things are there so I, I had posted about it uh, a while back mm. when remember when I was moving and I was packing all my books mm -hmm. so at that time I, f I took it out and I like it's it's all like packed up and shit so oh man that the pages smell so nice so yeah th that th <sighs> that's, that's one of my favorite smells that's my story with uh, learning new words and stuff because you even uh, I remember my drummer used to tell me like when, when, it, when it used to come to like uh, you know sending the message across in the lyrics yeah he's like this is not like you're you're being incoherent and stuff like this and i'm like 
Then oh, What do you mean? Then I, I ignored It's not that I asked him I was like No fuck it So I go to the IELTS thing And he's like The guy's like uh, You need to be coherent And I'm like hey, you, This word What it means See that's That's the thing I'm telling you The moment you come across A new word And you actually check up On the dictionary It sets in your mind So then, well That you actually use it In your vocabulary Then vocabulary. like you know I when it popped out again between me and Ziad that we were talking and then I was like yeah man I need to write cohesive lyrics and shit like this you know and like uh, then he's like then he didn't say that uh, then he didn't say anything but I told him like by the way I didn't know this word and my IELTS teacher told me about <laughs> it <laughs> oh uh, man uh, Leslie Sling did not get the graphic pad. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. I did. Yes, I did. Yep. But uh, life has been very upside down, you know, so yeah, I... Yeah, she barely touched I it. have gotten maybe a total of f- few times. hours, yeah, that I got to spend proper time to uh, do something on it because, first of all, you know, when there's so much stuff ar- happening around you, sometimes you don't have the right mind to get to art you know so um for now i've just given it a bit of a pause um but i'm soon trying to take a bit of a leave also to just like you know shut down my mind for a bit and uh, relax and so maybe i can take a take it back up but uh i still doodle occasionally on paper the tablet thing is a thing because I have to put the PC on and then huh, and then huh, I'm like huh, no Bandil is Too asking, lazy. <laughs> Bandil is saying, the, the saying did you use sketchbook or Krita? actually I tried both so I find sketchbook easy for like the beginner level of trying to understand how to use the pad hmm. and Krita is a bit more complex as you said so uh, I want to watch like proper tutorials on how to use all the tools and stuff so that I can um, uh, you know add different effects yeah. and stuff so Sketchbook also has a lot of brushes that are uh, like I think it just updates on the uh, like the sketchbook the, is a good the one type for, some yeah, yeah for like for like for example for hair textures for like yeah. background textures so it's um, it's really nice it's it's very user friendly compared to Krita yeah yeah Sketch, sketchbook, yeah, is, sketchbook user is user friendly user yeah friendly. so it uh, it takes like you like a dumb maybe, guy like me can pick it up yeah. yeah it takes you maybe a day or two to completely like get familiarized yeah. but Krita is a bit more like you need to understand all the things that uh, are available the options uh, so yeah but I I prefer Krita because it has so much more things that you can fuck around with you know so um, I was really excited to get this thing but unfortunately um, you know my mind is not in place because for art like usually I'm like as he says uh, my Bergen Bergen music so I have to put my headphones in and then start no it's just so, like she didn't get that uh, relaxing time to sit down and figure out the whole thing. Yep. But other than that, she gave it a couple of tries, and you know, it's going well. But yeah. Like, like for example, sometimes on weekends also, like um, I'm trying to uh, relax. Other than that, catch up with things I need to do mm. or, or any errands or chores, and sometimes we need to go to places to specifically get things we need for the we house. We still or didn't something. even freaking adjust that much to this whole Saturday, Sunday yeah. weekend. Everything yeah. is like, you know... Plus with Nugget and everything, like I, I really feel my brain is shutting down. <laughs> so it's like even me. That's like, why I'm going to take a leave and then try figure it out again. Like both of us, we feel that whole, nah, you know, yeah. what, we, I, I don't want to do this or like, you know, this. It's just... Uh, Sometimes like I come back from work and I'm like, listen, I have no energy. I just yeah. want to sit on the couch chill with him and just like watch and something or just talk like, about some things that's it you know you, you could do pictionary dude pictionary What's pictionary pic- is like do, okay so i have this game back in india isn't it a T-I-O? it's a blue box okay they have cards in it okay and they have a drawing book an hourglass you know hourglass right dude wait 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 hello did, did you just tell twitch how Anybody it feels there? to be 30 <laughs> who what uh, Nox is saying, did you just tell Twitch how to f- it feels to be? Yes, exactly. There you go. What is this game that Being, you're talking about? Okay, so Pictionary basically is that the cards, they will tell you different, different words that you can choose. Okay. Mainly, sometimes it's like name, place. Okay. Uh, it's, maybe it's an animal or something like that. You have to choose one and describe it to the other person. The other person is drawing. 
Okay. You have a minute of time, so they have an hourglass with them. You know the one that you yeah, used, uh, yeah, we yeah. were seeing in that game show you showed yeah. me last night. Crystal maze. In yeah. crystal maze, exactly. So the uh, you have that much time to draw and uh, uh, like the person has to describe it to the team member. If you get it right, you win. <laughs> Dude, there it's used like to be shreds, riots. Yeah? Oh yeah, but drawing. Dude. Ah, uh, my family, like we used to do uh, adults was versus the children. So all of us cousins used to be in one team and the adults used to be in one team. <laughs> 3 a.m. in the morning, riot in the house. Dude, we are 35 people in my family, like all cousins and like siblings, all to, all, all like close-knit family, 35 of us. Cool. Riot. Cool. Just, no baby, this was before. I, know. I was a kid, Jesus, yani. let it go, it's a joke. Shut up. So. So serious. So, my point was that it is such an interesting game. I really love it. I really love it. Thank okay, you for bringing uh, it up. Thank you very much for that, Bandal. But even, what was it, yesterday? I think I asked her something. I'm like, two words would have been enough. You don't need to go on a, on a fucking attack Dumbass to explain questions yourself. deserve that energy. N- no, it's just that... You guys have to back me up. Someone is putting you on a gunpoint as like, tell me why you need this job. <laughs> it's like, if he asks me a dumbass question, I'll be like, listen, shut the fuck up. I, that deserve... deserve Knox is saying, I feel like someone has to give Ahmed a website called <laughs> the internet. <laughs> Oh, breathing new life is in the house. Oh, How you doing, man? Hey, Thank you very much. Thank you, you very Welcome much, Tom. Welcome to the stream. Th- this is my friend from Facebook, Tom. We met over right. a new metal, uh, f- uh, like a group on Facebook. Uh, like okay. They, they share like you know music and stuff like this. That's awesome. So yeah. Welcome uh, to the stream. Thank you very so much. Nice he has a podcast as well. He's on oh. Anchor FM. Oh, uh, right. Called Breathing New Life. This is his Twitch account, guys. Please give just Ooh. drop him a follow as well. All right, let's go. Change my account name to the podcast. Oh, that's amazing, man! Thank you very much for joining us, uh, Tom. I and know. Uh, you know, a bunch of our friends over I'm here, going to his page now. Knox and Bundlehead, and all these guys are all also Twitch streamers. And uh, I'm very happy that I'm seeing you on Twitch, man. It is the place to start. I mean, yep. I, I it took me a while to jump on this platform but it finally it is so did much it. better here it's way better uh, this is all our community here we have Nox Bullet Bundlehead yeah amazing uh, Abzies, L, uh, amazing L yeah all these people are uh, you know our Twitch our, family uh, uh, as we say some of them are abroad some of them are here but uh, yeah yeah and uh, and breathing new life is not, not much going on Twitch page yet yeah I remember you on Facebook yeah I was on Facebook yeah uh, Tom used to drop like because of the time difference you know right so he's in the U.S. and uh, he was telling me he cannot catch it up because mostly either while we are streaming he's at work or oh, okay. it's early, you know. So like, uh, what was the, the what was his streamings about? Like, like I think I think he talks like about like uh, I mean, hence the new, like new metal and like you know. Uh, Right. Music talk. That's why. Like this. That's why. Because what, that's he why. he his favorite genre is new metal. That's why. Did you just ignore what I said that I met the guy in a group? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. You, you, I, I, I understood. I understood. What By the way, <laughs> Tom, this is my wife, uh, Nazi. Hi, yeah. Tom. How are you? It's. I, I really cannot wait till you set everything up <laughs> and uh, you know I get to listen to because I'm a huge Linkin Park fan. He is already on Spotify. So, oh, but yeah. but wait, I would love to see the podcast. Yeah. Na, uh, I mean. Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, by the way, Tom, like Jay Rock says from Taylor, Trailer Park Boys, like you know, now me, Marks. I don't do any streams here yet. I am uh, Burn Division Games. Oh, he's that guy. Yeah, yeah. I oh. forgot. He said yeah. Oh yeah, that Burn Davidson. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> when I stream games, when I get the chance, exactly, man. I, oh, you, so you do stream oh, games God. as well? That's good. That's good. That's good. What games do you stream, man? And what is your schedule? Did, did you figure it out because that's one of the parts that you need to figure out when it comes to twitch streaming yeah like uh, which i am uh, like you know having a big ass problem with it mm-hmm. lol yeah Bur- yeah burn davidson <laughs> that was such a we've had so many of those moments so, on the show yeah exactly like, like you know on friday i, I realized i had uh, i have dyslexia <laughs> 
because <laughs> I was driving behind the house and I told her like, yeah, I actually feel this problem with myself that I, I know I read the thing right, but it, it is wrong. You know. I told her I was like, you have a, a, a proper thing when you're reading really fast and you're skipping uh, alphabets. It's not skipping. It's just I when I read it, it's like, ah, huh, okay, I got it. You basically read like, oh, that's how he reads. Yeah. Like he, none of it makes sense to him in the head. First of all, so I said, listen, you need to slow down, take a breather, read everything all in one go, one alphabet at a time. You'll be better. <laughs> so yeah. He's saying I'm too busy to have a schedule again yet, but. too much work and school oh man oh at least maybe if you find like a vacation spot or something where you yeah. can actually give it a go for a bit to to see yeah, yeah these to things have a, like a trial run maybe one weekend or something then you can uh, you know because it's way different than other other platforms you know it's much no, more he interactive is, here he is, also he is on twitch so, he, he does game streaming but you know for his podcast maybe he yeah, just even wants to podcast. keep it like you know audio Ah, because right. because you know uh uh Tom the thing is hmm. what i was thinking um uh, uh yeah he is burn davidson <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is his, this is his podcast page uh tom the thing is like um when it comes to podcasts and twitch um it's kind of a new thing people are trying and it's really paying off and it's really nice you know i'm like i i met so many other streamers through this channel you know with help of knox and the you know our 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 network exactly. i met different people on this platform yeah so if you have your network to start with like you know let's say a couple of friends that they can you know you know help you out uh guide you the you know to the things how to do it if you have any questions yeah. just ask them and they do gaming as well like for example if you need any gaming to, uh, you know uh But, stuff to like you know enhance your um page and stuff like that because see even Nox is saying yeah he Nox ga- like I think I've seen him uh just Nox been busy lately like he he was sorry he's been streaming lately But before when now like I I I don't know now because the timings is like you know sometimes all of them them are live together so we are always confused who to go to And Nox is and dude I'm really happy yeah because he he does podcast on like gadgets and like games yeah. and stuff and he's saying is now top 100 for gaming in the UAE as of yesterday that's congratulations amazing. dude congratulations man congratulations that is awesome I mean kudos that is dope That's amazing I'm so man. happy for you you deserve that It's it's uh you know because there are a lot of people in this place that haven't yet discovered this platform that can actually use it to you know no, because no, no. there the, are the, there, there are a, personalities and like people who can actually there enjoy There is a lot this. of people that they want podcast regarding gaming and yeah. like you know Nox who who better than him like he understands all also, these things also with and Nox, it's his forte you know yeah, also with Nox's online personality you know the the charisma he has with the humor yeah, and shit yeah. it's different like you know so <laughs> <laughs> uh, breathing no love is yeah. a week at time for the podcast right now a uh, school takes up too much time in the oh. evenings yeah man that's the thing that's yeah. where the grind comes in and yeah if you can like at least secure tiny schedule for yourself that you can work around comfortably yeah. other than that even uh, you can't you don't have to keep it like long duration yeah. also like you can just try for half an hour at first or an hour at first so because like even sometimes when we are too tired i tell him like listen dude my battery capacity is already like half brain cell yeah. so <laughs> i tell him like if i can't do much i, I he, we cut it short or yeah. if you have to go somewhere so um I mean, life the, always comes in the middle but if you try to at least like uh, once a day maybe you can step try by step, first yeah. yeah slowly slowly I mean, build dude, the schedule to be also. honest to you my whole plan even the beginning was a video and audio uh you know uh proper taking the audio off the video and like you know how to say it, like proper recording session of the podcast with the, with the guest being in the house and there is like a video output that's being recorded an audio output separately and stuff like this but then I was like yeah. I cannot put a team together and I need to start something by myself so I can understand this whole you know thing then when I stepped into it it was again one of these phases of like learning by yourself so yeah. w- 
I, I met people, they helped me out, they gave me ideas, they, you know, told me what to use and everything. And it just turned out to be something different for me right now. You know, I'm on Twitch and I'm having these sessions with my wife or we have some guests on board. You know, yeah. it it kind of got out of that whole podcast feel, but it, it is a podcast feel, you understand? So you will find your rhythm and you find what you want. But if... I always wanted to do the whole Anchor FM and be on Spotify, but I didn't bother because this is much more of like a live thing I'm, I'm planning to do, like I'm, I am doing. Yeah. You know, the whole purpose was to be live. So if you see that you want to continue the whole path as the proper podcast, so you can include video because you're already doing the audio. Yeah. Video would be a big fucking booster. So go for it. But for me, I just like record these and I put it on YouTube because, you know, I'm like mostly just live and yeah. videos. Like also, like, for example, people like me who uh, watch streams, like I've often told you guys are already aware. I'm that person who will keep it on like I'm watching and I'm doing my stuff. Like the mm. other day I was watching Sandy's makeup stream and I was just baking. So mm. like, you know, it's it's like that for me. Like yeah. you guys always keep me company when I'm doing shit around yeah. the house. Yeah. So I like to watch and listen at the same time as well. Uh, so. Breathing new love is in. The problem is the editing right now. He's editing right now, uh, working uh, on it. Right. Right and as yeah, yeah. yeah as even Knox said it gets easier to, to, uh, exactly man yeah and dude for sure man hit me up whenever you need help or like you want me to guest on your thing and you can come on on board as well man I mean yeah everyone knows I mean this with channel. the knowledge you must be having by now about everything <laughs> yeah, so and like, we for, would love to by uh, the way you know, pick your brain you came to the <laughs> perfect channel <laughs> anyone can come on board we literally like these sessions are called absolute shenanigans yeah we just go on a rant but again when you come on board is like you uh, you are the guest and we're going to be talking about what's your you know what, what you're yep. up to and stuff like this and dude everyone is free we had uh, our episode 69 was just the link was in discord everyone was just the know, madness getting in and out. oh god so it was crazy man for sure, I, I mean, for sure, we need to do it. We need to do it. If you need any help, I mean, join on my Discord or like, you know, yeah, j just like give me a follow. I still at, feel uh, bad. That IG. We had to. If you need uh, any help, I can uh, help out. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Like, you but feel I, bad for I feel what? bad that day that episode sixty nine uh, when we were closing down. Wonder Wanger actually went out to get some chips, <laughs> and by the time he came, we had to unfortunately like uh, you know end the stream yeah. and raid someone else. Oh yeah. So. Knox, the, by I, the way. After that, I didn't see him, dude. I think he's busy. He still with a gig yeah he's done? doing no, no it, it's done but ah, it's, okay uh, because I, I i didn't see uh notification yeah, he, from his he, yeah, side yeah, recently he been, yeah he, he's he been busy. off grid a bit yeah and Knox, that's your link for the podcast the podcast got the leftover dough <laughs> nice that's amazing, that's amazing that is man. such a unique name and it makes you curious like what's this about i mean that's the thing i didn't choose to go on the whole audio route mm -hmm. you know to put everything on because uh, everyone knows I'm kind of a lazy person. Not lazy, it's just that I like to simplify shit for myself, you know. I love how he says the truth and then he refines the truth. I need to refer. He refines it. I need to. <laughs> I need to put it He's in a like, good package. I'm lazy, <laughs> but I, it's just that I, to <laughs> I like things simplified. And uh, this is, uh, <laughs> uh, he's saying we use, uh, we use baking terms uh, a lot because... <laughs> Baked. Baked. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, yes. Got yes, it. Yes. Got, Got it. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's one of the other things. Whenever she's like, she tells me this. Uh, I mean, two days ago, I started doing this. Whenever she says, like, Got it. These nuts. <laughs> ah! <laughs> you know, the laugh after. <laughs> Ah, pray for me, guys. Oh, the the, the laughter after me. he knows he did something legit, and it's like you know, one hit. Once one he got hit. he got finished with emotional damage. Okay. Emotional damage. Then he started with this, and everything. I was like, oh, oh, I got it. It's okay. And he's like, got it. <laughs> You know, I feel like putting up like a paper, like please uh, help <laughs> with an A, help, please. Anox <laughs> <laughs> is saying, well, this is going to be my cringe compilation. 
<laughs> oh my lord but breathing new life saying uh, I think it would be cool to have a chat about culture slash uh, social uh, societal differences societal differences and its impact on heavy music oh. actually that is a very good topic and I would literally do as much research possible for that yeah. episode because that is such an important point and a lot of things that have all events be it uh, you know culturally or uh, political or any 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 I mean, we semi, we semi talk about it and nag about it between the musicians we have done you know? it yeah, yeah we, we have, have done, done it but you know with the local artists or the yes. artists in this region or or, or the even international artists like yeah. with ian and jay uh, malki we were doing it like we were nagging about the scenes in different places mm -hmm. So uh, Abzi saying you guys are lucky I'm not feeling well too Dude are you okay man sorry I mean like we didn't know uh, I hope everything is okay bro T I thought I thought he rest, just left man. us on lurk but take care take, of yourself No um, no just dude if you not feeling well it's okay just, man Just just take rest uh, Take rest and take care uh, of yourself have your bro. meds and stuff if you uh, if you're taking any medication eat an ample amount that is uh, uh, you know uh, just just, just take, take care, care of yourself, yourself. Take care of yourself Thank yeah. God, even Knox made a Oh clip my out. God! Wait, thank you so I, much, Knox. Thank, thank you so thank much. Thank you, thank you. And Bundelet saying, I actually made an overlay for a Twitch streamer called These Nuts Eleven. <laughs> And, nice. Uh, breathe I, I would love to see what did you make for that person. <laughs> <laughs> breathe in new life is saying I would be. Uh, it would be a good serious topic for me because I'm a big free speech slash expression well, advocate. Well, you come to the right place. You are in the right place. This guy is an anarchist, like proper, like intellectual, spiritual, and everything yeah. anarchist. So, yeah. for me who really values these kinds of thoughts, because I'm, uh, you know, I believe to be open-minded as much as I can so mm. dude this is one of those topics that people you know talk in different contexts but don't really get to the depth of it because there are so many problems in line that you know once you uncover everything and in the end you're just gonna be like fuck humanity dude I've realized that <laughs> Ten you know, ago. <laughs> I've noticed that a lot because I go through that because see, first of all, I'm a Pisces and then other than that, I'm just a woman. So I overthink like a fucking maniac. So sometimes in my head, I just go on with the thoughts like, you know, music and the people suffering and everything and, you know, all wow, the shit. Wow, music and from music and the, immediately people, people suffering. Yeah, because, wow. yeah, because, you know, you see the reality that we are in and then you see how you're, everyone you're just a is. You're psychopath, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I'm just saying, no wonder why you and him get along because Pisces, yeah? Yeah, because he's, uh, uh, your, I believe your star sign is Cancer? Yeah. Yeah. And I have Cancer. I will kill you. Don't say stupid shit like this. <laughs> get get you, lost. You uh, Go in the corner. And do time, time out. Time out. <laughs> <gasps> Oh idiot. yeah, man. I'm 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 cool with Pisces people. They're yeah. They're we we're just daydreamers. We yeah. are not like harmful people. Stubborn people. Chill. Very stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> Why we're laughing? Because it was so incident. Like the dialogue and the movies saying to the other characters, "Stop being stubborn." I'm like, tell my wife. <laughs> single time anything <laughs> me anyone mentions about being stubborn and he looks at me uh abzi saying well actually pisces slash arius uh, really born march 20th oh okay well i'm yeah. 17th so for me yeah. it's like right at the border yeah. of uh the thing you're but just three three days old yeah Three days old, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Garbage, just bullshit. Uh, but but again, yeah, I mean, breathing new life. We we wish you all the best, and yeah, for sure, man. Dude, I am. I kind of like don't attend to Facebook at all. Like, I rarely like. I just open it because I have like 157 notifications. And I, I literally, see what is it. I literally made a page just for uh, supporting the AKB shit and uh, <laughs> you know his page. So I, I. I've never been on Facebook. Facebook. I hate Facebook. I don't know, man. By the way, guys, uh, it's just weird. I, I get like Are requests like... from uncles. You know, like I just, I just delete, delete, delete. You know what? You know what? I want to start a poll. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I want to see 
Um, Bundlehead is going to stream in an hour or two. Nice. Uh, we will definitely try to drop by. I don't think we're going after stream anyway. No, we will. We, we will, will be, be. Uh, at home. So like maybe you can start before we uh, and maybe we can raid you and stay on the stream as well. So it's up to you. I cannot wait. Dude, watching Bundlehead draw is like really peaceful. I've said it before on stream, but for uh, like, you know, whoever's watching, like really uh, check his page out. He's uh, an amazing artist. And also he's designed the shirt, yep. which I'm wearing for with Reptilia. Uh -huh. So he's, uh, he's a badass artist. He's actually done a lot of different styles and uh his animation is dope so yeah he's done it for a lot of twitch streamers as well like dj and uh who else did he do it for what uh but he I'm did not, like for uh i'm, I'm not a uh, couple of more friends that they're around in the, uh, in the scene okay yeah and uh also chill dude you know relaxed relaxed soul by the way how's your toto is uh bundle head and your mm. cat I don't I don't think I wait I've seen his daughter he sent me a video once <laughs> what they're all uh, so talking about yeah amazing uh, L24. I've started a poll so you guys put on your votes cat in. is going to Maui m sorry maul me right now I read Maui Maui you <laughs> cuz my uh, eyes are dry as fuck um oh my god why why is the cat on a rampage who she by the way so cute whenever he puts the camera on on the cat it's like yes you why do you disturb me like you know the air of attitude yeah how dare you peasant <laughs> like you know <laughs> it's by such the way a guys royal expression head you know? head to the to the poll that I put on which one you think is the best platform Instagram Twitter or Facebook of uh, until now 40% uh, so, sorry 36% 31% for Instagram I've never got on Facebook by the, uh, for sorry, Twitter. On, on Twitter I've never had a Twitter account either I, I, we had Twitter I was like what the fuck is this I was like <laughs> I don't understand it I really don't understand it I don't I, I never got into that whole fad well, apparently Instagram I just got on because of my art like uh, it was mostly that and supporting other artists and stuff I mean discovering dude for shit. people like for example my other friend Gas uh, mm -hmm. uh, who was uh, oh, yeah, he's, a, he's a digital artist and uh, the moment he joined Twitter I mean Twitter was one of the things that he had to join because of this whole NFT group thing that yeah you have to on. yeah you have to have like a twitter account to yeah. apparently b have enough followers to enter into yeah. nft circles so that's a bullshit requirement um but apparently all these things are i mean who makes these rules who makes these rules like why do you have to have twitter to be on another platform like that's such garbage anyways so so um, until now it's still 64 yeah. percent Twitter mm -hmm. and 36%. Amazing Instagram. L loves it apparently. So is mega bomb dude i mean how what is it is it just like replying someone else's comment i have seen for like status that's I, it. I have seen compilations of like funny tweets uh like you know people just say statements in a very either a sarcastic or a funny way with humor but mm -hmm. like i don't i don't know what else would it like what i don't i don't get it it's just up, uploading statuses that's it what about you do you want to vote me i'm more comfortable with like instagram i prefer instagram a lot um so with her vote in we're standing at uh, 53 percent twitter and 41 percent instagram so still if you didn't put your vote in please do it and leslie is saying uh i uh, leslie is saying uh ig you competing with half half what woman I don't really use anything else another than FB. I need more help with Instagram. Dude, uh, that's the thing. Like now Facebook is synced with Instagram because they're the, like, you know, he, they they bought over the whole thing. Uh, Instagram is much more accessible to everyone. And, you know, it's easier for people to join in and you don't 
like you know it's mostly like pictures and videos and funny things and you can get along easier you can gel yourself with the app easier yeah and some videos like i feel that uh are like you know you can have that vine and en- energy you know so mm. i i like that about the app uh it's it actually holds some funny content as and well. it's easy man there is not much into it yeah and uh it's just now with the reels it's like uh another uh you can say beta tiktok you know what i mean like mostly a lot of funny shit is from tiktok that has been yeah. uploaded on to instagram this, no apparently all this shit was from instagram and then just tiktok i feel the i feel vice versa I feel like a lot of funny things from tw- uh, TikTok. Uh, now it's happening. I'm saying you know, all these make features, the transition. all these features you see in TikTok, it's originally made by Instagram. Like ah, basically. Ah, that way. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, so it that depends. The stories, the, the IGTV, this reels and shit, it's all been yeah. made by uh, IG. Amazing how they're saying that uh, IG is full of bots, porn bots. bots on the com- Dude, oh my god, these. DM, I know. DM promote your thing. Oh my lord, it's like it's I get, I get like goth model, and I get no, like he's talking about jewelry shit, like become talking, ambassador. I'm like fuck off. Yeah, that that whole ambassadorship, whatever they like the fuck. And Im- immediately, the minute you post, it'll be like promote this on this page. Yeah. I'm like, I always go and comment stupid shit. Like all the bands here in UAE know that because as soon as they post something, I go and I, I say like go suck a bag of dicks. <laughs> <laughs> like, Go suck a bag of dick. There, there is actually a guitarist that I follow. He's from Canada. He said uh, one time he posted his uh, uh, thing. He uh, uh, on two separate posts there were people telling him to promote it. So he sent the his uh, the other page's details to the other page. You know, so he kind of like fucked around with them. And I was like. That's nice. And Tifal is in the house. That's hey, how you doing, bro? Thank you very much for joining us. He's like, I'm old and I don't understand Instagram and Twitter. I don't blame you. It's not, it's not something you need to be, you know, um, uh, well. Twitter, in, yeah, so Twitter. Okay. We are with you. I don't understand as well, but IG is not bad, man. It's cool. And I don't think it's that, you know, complicated. It's it's kind of okay, user friendly, but like, you know, for people. I mean, it's who... just like Facebook, but with different, uh, like, you know. Yeah. But, button configuration yeah but again uh, like I, I i tell you often like for people who go on like social media cleanses and like oh i'm gonna be off grid for a bit i'm like dude i don't touch my phone for two days sometimes what there like, is like i don't give a fuck there like, is there is twitter subscriptions really or i or, dude is leslie no, he's saying that I would actually pay for it. Yani, he's saying ah, that if it was wow. paid, he would pay no for it. It's that man. good. No okay. way. What is it? What is this whole big thing about Twitter? I don't like, understand. Like, okay, uh, Leslie, in your mind, what do you think are the pros of Twitter? Like, uh, it would be easier for Dirty to understand. Uh, Breathing New Life is saying uh, uh, cross posting from, from my, my FB page to IG doesn't really work as w- easily as I would like. Okay, I mean, you know. Uh, maybe it depends on the. Uh, it's just your settings, man. Just maybe just, settings, just software. Yeah, just adjust your settings. And Could be the will. compatibility. I, maybe the there is some issue with it. No, no, no. Yeah, maybe the app needs an update or something like that. But it's very easy to fix that. It's uh, super easy. It's one of the first things that Facebook wants to do with the app. You know, <laughs> to sync every fucking thing you have in the phone. Leslie, uh, think the community is the uh, pro of it. Uh, I don't know. I mean, Knox is a big ass. Uh, Twitter user, which I don't understand. I mean, I, I, I never got into it. And uh, Breathing New Life saying the content, I'm going to figure this out, I guess. Mm. It's, it's just the setting. Just uh, just adjust it and it will be okay. Conversation with different people. I understand. It's just well, like, I don't I don't get it. I, think I mean, it, I, I can have conversation on the... Uh, like, I don't see anything major happening on Twitter. It's what just is like, happening? 17 messages were deleted by a moderator. Knox timed out. Amazing for one. Why? What's happening? Why did it automatically timed out Leslie what's happening I don't know <laughs> I didn't do anything that's okay maybe it's just you know OBS 
no, it's not OBS. It's Maybe it's Twitch, a gin in your system. Twitch or Streamlabs. Maybe ID it's a ghost. bots after me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I agree with yeah. him. Like all this ambassadorship, uh, email, like you know, uh, texts you get, and other than that, the moment you, I don't know who is this person. Okay, I'm sure it's like you know, it might be a bot, but there are some people they like it and they comment, and it's literally look like someone, you know, mm. been writing that text. But mm. most of them is DM us uh, promoted here. It's yeah. just annoying, man. And I thought it just happened to... I immediately go to, report for spamming immediately. I always thought this is only happening to me because I'm like a small scale fucking whatever guy trying to do something yeah. on social media. It's to everyone. It's to big fucking uh, pages as well. Everyone. Like, you know, everyone. like the big ass fucking platforms that happens to them yeah. as well. Yeah, exactly. Go to turn off the filter on that damn bot. <laughs> Man, it's seriously it, mm, uh, annoying, but you know, you can't get rid of that. <sighs> yeah, he did write porn. Mm. I hit up with, with people. <laughs> you talk to those people that they comment? Wow. Nice. It's just stupid, man. I mean, that's the thing. These imagine, platforms... imagine turning up to the DMs and be like, hey, dude, what's up? So, um, I'm going to take my dog for a walk. <laughs> like, imagine just t- talking about your daily life problems. Like, Dude, listen, I have this issue. I cannot, like, you know, I'm facing trouble with this. Can you help me sort out my life? <laughs> like, imagine. Where? What? Approaching these, like, promoters. Like, but with your life problems. Like, yeah. you know, imaginary life problems. Oh, that's the thing. They don't reply. They will tell you, okay, you know what? Buy 25% from our Imagine items. that. Like, all these promoters and you just turn up like, hey, I just wanted to Dude, talk to you. And they're like, yes, tell me. What uh, services y- would you, you like? You know how then, happy I got when I first ever fucking got a... Like a proper long ass fucking message in combos is uh, inbox, and I'm like, I even told Nazi, Nazi, I got approached by a company, they want to sponsor me and shit. Then she's like, Gothic uh, model ambassador. I'm like, yeah. And then she's like, uh, they've been up my ass like for like the last two years. <laughs> yeah. It's just scam. I, I just get Gothic model after the other thing, like ambassador for like plus size, and I'm like. Dude, listen, shut the fuck up. Okay, just, I, I block every one of them and I report them. <clears throat> the thing is, like, there oh, is a way. A there is a way to become a legit affiliate with a brand. Mm. But you don't need to pay to get their items till you get a discount. And then it's kind of like a pyramid scheme. I feel that it's automatically generated uh, Yeah, messages. it is, it is. That, that it's one, like anyone who posts. That one, yeah, class. that one is, uh, it, it yeah. is. Like, in, like I think they tell the bot, if you see a hashtag of Twitch or this and that, trigger it. Yeah. You know, it gets triggered and immediately it sends that thing. Yeah, the response, yeah. Uh, Bundle is saying, what happened? Engage on one-on-one with people on Twitter. Are we talking about NFTs? We're just talking well, uh, well, about... Well, I'm talking about these the, like promoters the that, uh, Instagram. on Instagram posts that, you know, um, uh, give messages that... You, you know, know, the moment you put a picture or you post something, immediately one idiot there is that... Not just that. The other day I got a uh, DM from... <laughs> Sorry. Not <laughs> just that and it's here. <laughs> the other day I got a person uh, telling me to post my art as NFTs on their like you know whatever platform or yeah. shit they have on uh, for as an NFT mm-hmm. like proper proper thing. I'm like no. I ha- why would I trust a random person? Exactly. Like especially when you click on their page and it's like zero followers. It's like two followers. So garbage like, like I can, waste of time I can understand which pages are following back or like you know they, they follow their you know uh, or they're active on their they're page active yeah. or not when you see their followers lower than their fucking following that means something is wrong and when you see them following l- like oh, less that's people, not accurate because I because follow more than do, how many okay, follow that, me because I follow like 10,000 bands. You are like a rare case in this whole fucking universe. People are like what? Oh, people are like what? You. No, that's a very bad compliment that you just support anyone. What? That's how is that a bad compliment? I support in your artists. idea. Okay, in your idea, you're doing well, but for them, is the clout that they're fucking looking at. I they don't, don't give look a for shit. The, you don't give a shit. I never cared about all this bullshit. You don't care, obviously. That's what I'm saying. This is where okay. you're fucking up. 
Okay, exactly. Okay. But for them, it's Continue. the Continue. The thing is, when you see their followings, for example, is 200, but their followers are like fucking 1,000. Mm-hmm. What they do, they go, they follow you. Mm-hmm. They like a couple of your pictures, so you can follow back. Once yeah. you follow back, they go and they remove you. They unfollow, you. This yeah. is one of the fucking fucked up <laughs> shit that they do. And uh, no, I mean, Nox is saying, I know Bundlehead wants to get into it. Um, dude, I'm... I'm like he I, needs to pick up his IG thing. Like, like I, uh, usually, whenever I follow a band, especially new ones or or existing ones uh, that are you know enough approachable, if for example I'm listening to them while drawing, or if I am, uh, you know, um, Dude, if I find their so new singles uh, interesting, if I post, I'm always on their story. Yeah, yeah. So they always like you know respond. You know they're, what I they're, mean? They're talking so, about the NFT. Listen, bundle it. NFT gatherings or whatever it happens. One thing keep in mind. You need to be good on your social skills. Because they will have clubhouse fucking gatherings and long hours we're talking. Like, you know, imagine instead of like gathering in a place and having a face-to-face interaction, like a conversation, they would be on clubhouse and there are sessions that you need to attend and uh, a lot of things. A Basically, of you things. need to be a fil- full-time artist to... On uh, social media. To attend that yeah. much of uh, that capacity of, uh, you know, to be on, on online all the time. Yeah, you need to be online. All that the, time, the whole attentiveness you need to give to the whole thing till you enter the circle and then you get you know approved and you're in that you know clubhouse thing and then your your art actually gets value and stuff so it's it's networking a, it, it's exactly it's all about yeah just yeah. networking nothing else into it it's like so people who else. are doing a day job i don't think you can focus much mm. on like this completely seriously because uh you know you also need time to create the art yeah. and you know make it uh, credi- uh credible enough um so these circles actually accept you you know it's so. not about acceptance it's just that it, it needs a lot of socializing with these people till you yeah you know and and sometimes penetrate. like the, because there are so many different forms of art there's 3d art mm. there is 2d art you know so uh that different bit shit that they do yes exactly like so there are uh mu- there's music there is videos like you know there are different different forms mm. and formats yeah so uh there's so much variety of stuff happening like the market is probably already oversaturated with artists. I mean, b- b- and because of whatever is happening in Ukraine. Yeah, it's so crypto, volatile. Dude, it's crypto really crashed, like, everything crashed and like... But I'm not surprised. I mean, financial institutions will not let uh, cryptocurrency be stable because, of course, it's going to put banks out of a job. You know what I mean? So but it is, there, it, will it be is. A, there will be a point where we won't have banking institutions, but maybe they'll find another way of converting that to still control economy Mm. do you know what i mean so wow i went into a whole like um (laughs) market rant (laughs) but we should rename the session yeah exactly but uh, and uh leslie said i actually have a couple of nfts uh, Tether is stable. Okay, so I think that's one of the types of uh, like Bitcoin is one of the type like I that. I don't even fucking. So know. I, yeah, we have zero is the knowledge other one of these Ether, things. E- e- Ether, whatever is that? That's yeah. another currency they use. It's it, the thing is like man, I come like I actually some like you know even now when you know she pays with the card and it's just a tap, I'm like uh, it's been a while since I've touched cash. You know? <laughs> yeah, because it's becoming. They are trying to make everything yeah. like you know. Dude, but this still, been in the this been in the pipeline since long time ago to make intangible money, which yeah. is credit cards. Yeah, so you know. it's already been in action and it's already happening. Yeah. But I mean, it back to the topic of NFTs and all that thing. Even she didn't want to jo- join it because she was like, you know. It's Man, too I risky. Need to, Other than that, there are that. people who are being like uh, scammed, uh, scammed and, and stuff. Forget about so. that. That's the, that's the easy stuff that happens, you know. But other than that, it's just it's like too much energy into it, and I'm not at the point of stage uh, in my life to delve same, into this. Same with like without you know, knowledge. Same by with the way. me when it came to music. There was a there was a bunch of people that you cannot like because of my own personal you know behavior. I cannot be around them. 
because it's just i can't so it's one of these things if you can be good in socializing with anyone and you're talkative because you cannot just join in and wait you need to go and sell your product basically you know yeah. network and tell them oh i do this not as like a kiss ass but you know the like basically self-promotion self-promotion yeah yeah but yeah. in a very professional way yeah but you're gonna get it see UK even these days yeah see that's cash. the thing everyone wants to go cashless but dude there are places still that need cash you know like small vendors like you know for that example. day that day when you told me because i had to, i was planning to go to Sharjah to pick up some shit and that shop they still don't have that whole card reader thing yeah so he's like she's like oh you need to withdraw and i'm like oh nice Mm-hmm. cash <laughs> because because we rarely carry uh, uh, around with us yeah. like you know it's become like e- even uh, my mom's play, yeah. uh, like we don't we don't we don't we don't so it's just yeah. weird now that you know we don't have uh, a currency trade as much but there are still places like for example there are big malls here in dubai that are wholesale priced mm. okay you guys know what i'm talking about like dragon mart for example or uh, yeah, they don't you know have china mall card. or like ajman mall or all these places that have wholesale price things or like knockoffs for example they it's like you need cash there because you can't have uh, card transactions in those places mm-hmm. so all those vendors are just you know cash transaction only so there are places like that like even for uh, some places in the market where uh, there are petrol stations sometimes we come across where it says just cash only yep. because uh, either their system is fucked or something yeah. like that so if the emergency it's a situation where there's an emergency you do need cash still you know yep. for um, it it's it, i don't think it can be completely obsolete that's like i'm what i'm trying to get at that it i don't think you can go completely cashless unless all businesses are forced to uh, you know transition yeah, we to the all, banking yeah, thing yeah we we all prefer cash. because what i'm aware is that to have like a business to have uh, an account especially in this country this is what i'm aware you need to have a certain amount of earning every day like 2000 i think or mm. 2000 dirhams or something like that yeah, like yeah, you, need you need to need make to, a yeah. certain amount of business every day uh, to have like an account yeah. so if you can't Sorry, have that many your, sales your, your turnover should be or Turn- like uh-huh, you need okay. to be like not less than 5k yeah so that's what i mean yeah. so like they have like a certain criteria. amount of yeah criteria so all the small businesses that are still not being able to reach that level uh, like for example you know small cafeterias or small just like vendors mm. and stuff yeah. they still need cash so you can't completely you know do that i mean if banks keep such conditions what can you do you know I mean this is out of our hand but again back back to the NFT thing it needs a lot of socializing mm-hmm. and uh it's better to you know to see where your head at uh, w- where your head is at yeah if you want to go into it it has its own like procedure it's kind of complicated it's it was good for the people that they had some shit on their hand and you know they were part of the group that they started this thing you know yeah. the early days when it hit uh, in 2020 like we were watching so, a documentary even in uh, like other countries like iran and stuff they're trying to uh, help Uh, uh foreigners pay with cryptocurrency because yeah. of the bank tra- uh, bank sanctions and like stuff so yeah. you know people cannot use their cards in that country sometimes and you cannot work around with like millions of tuman in your yeah. hand you know because the uh, inflation rate so uh, uh you know it's like you have to uh, pay somehow so there there are hotels now that are trying to make payments through crypt- cryptocurrency for foreigners you know so like as a as a form of payment which is genius Yep. It's a good step. Exactly. I mean, especially countries like that it's a good step. It will increase tourism also. So you know, it's easier. Yep. But what can we do? I mean, it is what it is, but uh I I hope we, we get just, to talk about like I sometimes I think that these like serious topics also are a good conversation because like It you, is, but I don't like I to I feel t- people have opinions about it. Like see le- the things that Leslie said about NFTs and like Twitter mm. and stuff. Like sometimes it in- it's interesting to uh, listen to opinions of people mm. who had to have something opposite to yours. So you can actually that's why I asked the reason why do you say that because mm. I can understand where you come from. and then you know you you get bases and you can actually talk about something I mean, with it, more knowledge like the thing is like nft you remember sasan he said it's a complicated game yeah uh, he said everything is in it 
Kiss, yeah. kissing ass, uh, pushing for it, grinding, putting the hard work, yep. being friends with one specific person, knowing the timing, when to being you know, active, being super active on Twitter, clubhouse, and, and all this. So followers it's, and he said it's it really depends on your personal behavior. If you're into that shit, you can manage it. It's easy. You can get your shit done. But if you need to dig too hard, you will forget about it. Yeah, like for me, uh, when I post I mean, it's a, always good to see what yeah. other people think about like, it. F- like, for example, when I post a picture or a video or a reel or whatever, I don't don't go back much to see how many likes or something I've got because it's just like, this is my page. This mm. is my art. I made a new piece and I just put it on for people to see who come, come by, pass by my page or maybe it gets, you know, suggested to someone or yeah. something. So, like, uh, I, I'm not one of those people. So, for me to get into NFTs and actually care about or followers or this like i i'm not one of those artists so i i I immediately told them so like see this this type of grind is not for me for nft like i would rather get into like a proper legit printing thing which i've been wanting to do since ages yeah the whole old school yeah so the old school way where people can have my physical art to either wear or hold or display in their house or give it as a gift or something so like for me i feel that's more comfortable route for me so that's why i couldn't I couldn't like you know. Um, I just listened to Gasan that night like about NFTs and stuff. But I was like, okay, that's too much. See, Philly saying we used to pay for pizza with Bitcoin. That is dope. See, that that's the ease of it. But again, like, I don't think that the banks will give it freedom. I don't think that's gonna happen. I mean, but Bandha, let's see what you want to do about it. It's not a bad what thing. What he said, what he said. Uh, the whole, they're talking with uh, Leslie about some stuff. Ah, uh, okay. But yeah, Bitcoin, I mean, a, a lot of uh, platforms, they even accept it as a yeah, method of payment. Yeah, about method of, exactly. So, I mean, uh, if it's uh, accessible to public to the level where it's not at all, like as people say, it's not regulated by anything. But again, there are like uh, global crisis or there's some situation that happens. It does get impacted. So yeah. if it's... It's very unstable. Yeah. So if but I mean, Bitcoin is better. Than if the there is one. a way that it can be more stabilized to the point where there common is. man can use to the point where you can literally buy everything from grocery to TVs to, uh, nope. you know, everything. If it comes it to that happen. point, that's what I'm saying, that the banks won't let it happen. It won't. Won't. They won't let it happen unless there is a big ass guy. Who, behind okay, it. imagine if everything is stable and stuff, and like you can easily like you know earn and do all these things and transact. Do you think that anyone's gonna ever use a banking app for a transfer? No. No. That's I mean, dude, it is uh, as I told you. One big ass guy needs to be behind it. Yeah, no one would open so, accounts. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you would already have your wallets for because I know that uh, the concept of NFTs is that you know you have your wallet and stuff. So, uh, like you know, imagine it is it is a very complicated. Yeah, one. it's all digital, so it's it's easy payments, but we won't be opening accounts. Yep. You know, so would would that banks will be like, no, no, I need money. <laughs> Uh, can, can can use tether for these things you are talking about. Yeah, so that's the other. Well, I, uh, if there is one, then I mean it's good yeah, um, I mean, for for people is, to use. I mean, maybe. Yeah. I mean, I don't. I don't trust intangible money. I just don't trust it, and I don't have good luck with this shit. So Such a but, boomer sentence. I don't yeah, uh, trust intangible money. <laughs> with that being said, again, guys, thank you very much for joining us tonight. It's been a wild fucking discussion we I know. went f- fucking from burgers from burgers to like to, serious topic yeah, to, to uh, you know the and society and yeah. economy and stuff it was a bit of a boring stream but like i you know i love talking to you guys about we everything. just like to talk about all these different shit exactly but other than that oh wait uh, leslie was saying wait for bundle what time uh, he said he said an hour i don't, I don't know what point uh, he said it was an hour is he not online yet no Oh, is he here? Is he here in the chat? Yeah, he is in the chat. Bundle it. When are you going to be what, starting What time stream? you started, man? Uh, wait, I didn't check out his schedule. He has a schedule already? Does I he have or uh, is it like any time? I'm not sure. I don't know. Wait, let me go to his page. Wait. So, Bundle it. Let us know when you are streaming. If we can mm, wait. Bundle. I don't think he mentioned it in the... I think because he's still figuring out. It's... 
I I clicked on Bundle Huard. Bundle Huard, breathing new life is saying, yeah. Let me know. That's how. Uh, how else to stay connected? <laughs> For sure, man. Just, just, just hit us up on combos and chill on uh, IG. If you're on IG, we can stay more because I'm way more active over there. That's what I was saying. My I love how there. Bundlehead has mentioned in his description, a Krita noob lord, <laughs> noob lord. Oh my God, blender rookie with keen sense of turning keyboard can you just keywords read his to schedule? concepts. With lo-fi music going on live streaming, is that is such a like. You dope wanted to check his schedule. Oh. You literally didn't check his schedule. Read something else, and she kept the phone back. <laughs> Sorry, but see, you can see how how spaced out I am. Can okay. you read the schedule? Okay. Uh, it doesn't say That's anything. That's what I the said. He, he's st- because he's still like examining with his timing. Ah. Going and stream in 30 minutes. Oh, okay. So uh, I think I gotta be raiding DJ, and obviously he's playing Valorant as usual. Man, so. DJ, I miss when he was like streaming the other games. You know, it was so much fun. We used to like crack ridiculous jokes at that time. So with that saying, we're going to be rating our good friend DJ. But again, thank you very much, guys, for joining us for this session, Breathing mm-hmm. New Life. Thank you very much for seeing you around for I the know. first time. And I mean, you were that burn, that burn Davidson. Davidson. <laughs> now, now we know that. Yeah. Thank you saying, for dropping I'll by the stream, by the schedule way. schedule after I turn the field. Exactly, man. You need to do all that. But again, Abzi, take care of yourself, man. Take rest. Nice. And T Philly, Bundlehead. Leslie, Tom, Knox, and all the guys that join us tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for thank you, thank uh, sitting you. through the serious conversation about yeah. NFTs and stuff. So our schedules are on uh, Sunday, Tuesday, and Fridays. Fridays mm-hmm. is officially the the day that we chose yep. that we can spend the most, like you know, yeah, over two hours with you guys and nonstop just fucking hammering it out. But other than that, give us a follow at Combos and Chill on IG and FB and or just go to linktree.com slash combos and chill you can get all the links to our platform subscribe to us on YouTube all all of these videos are recorded and they're going to be uploaded on YouTube mm-hmm. give her a follow at she's a phoenix if you yeah, want yeah. any black ink or like Maori tribal, tribal designs yeah. tattoo designs for any brownie lovers here in Dubai give us a follow at brownies by phoenix we do the cooking and it's delicious and, and deliver will not, uh, yeah, we will, yeah, we well. will deliver it as well. Yeah. And uh, you guys take care of yourself. And oh, Bundlehead is saying he's going to work on our content from next week live. Nice. Nice, man. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks Thank a lot. So We're going to stay in touch with you. And cheers, Thank guys. Thank you, dudes. Take care. Bye. Take care. Bye.